everybody and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here I'm a little bit further away from the camera than I normally am because these boxes are so huge I have done a massive order from John Pye auctions I have done auction videos in the past I've done quite a few now and it is definitely one of my favorite videos to do I love just buying things at auction especially mystery boxes these were mystery boxes and not knowing what's going to turn up and then sometimes it's really good sometimes it's really bad so when these arrived I did have a look in them because I was surprised to find that there was only two boxes and like one of them was massive because I actually bought three different lots but I think what they've done when they've delivered it to me is they've just put everything together in these two boxes so nothing is separated out I was going to do three different videos of each of the boxes that I bought but because they've arrived all together and all mixed up I'm just going to do one video it might be quite a long video because there's a lot of stuff to get through I didn't know you were in here Dylan but anyway I'm sure you want to know what I paid for all of this so I think all together there must be about a hundred items here and the actual three boxes only totaled £45 for 100 pieces of clothing. But when you buy at auction, you do have a buyer's premium that you have to pay, which is 25%. So that was added on top. So that was another £11.25 on top. And then it cost £12 to deliver, which I didn't think is too bad. Like, it's a big box. I thought £12 delivery is quite good. Normally on John Pye, as long as you're buying from the same auction, as in each auction that they do has its own number. So as long as you're buying from that same auction, you can normally spend £10 for your first item delivery. And then every item that you buy on top of that, that was Dylan, they adds a pound for each item, if you get what I mean. So that's why it was £12. So it's £10 for the first item, then it was £1 each for the next two boxes um, and then you also have to pay VAT on top of everything and that totaled £13.65p so the total that I paid for all of this clothing was £81.90p so just bear that in mind if you are buying at auction when I won the lots they were actually totaled at £45 but I actually ended up paying £81.90p so you know you're looking at almost double what you end up winning the auction for for what it actually costs to buy the items and get them to you with the VAT and all the extra charges and stuff. Anyway, that was just a bit to let you know the details of how to buy auction and stuff. But I have done loads of these auction videos before so I'll leave my auction videos all linked down below if you want to watch any more of them. But let's just get into unboxing these boxes of clothing and let's hope for some goodies. Say hello first and then you can go out. Good boy. Say hello. Here's Dylan. He's like, get me out of this room. He freaks out when I'm filming. Because I'm making a lot of noise, isn't it? Right, good boy, you can go then. Okay, so in the first box, I have already noticed a lot of these. And I'm going to open up one. Let's see how many I've got. So I've got one, two, three. This is the same, but slightly different colour. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Any more? There might be some more in there, but we will find out later. So I've got ten of these t-shirts, and these t-shirts were originally from I Saw It First, and they are actually Love Island t-shirts. So they obviously had a bit of leftover stock or something that they needed to get rid of. Uh, let's open up one of them and then I'm going to leave the rest of them packaged up because basically with all this stuff, anything that I don't keep for myself, I will donate to charity or friends and family. So I might keep one of these tops though because I do love Love Island. So this is the top. Oh, it's nice. It's like oversized. I actually really like that. This one's definitely Love Island because it says on the label, you see that? It says they're Love Island. But this one actually doesn't say Love Island, so maybe that's not. So I'll open up one of them as well. But this is what the t-shirt looks like. It's a plain white t-shirt and it has these like sunglasses on there and it still has the label. It's, it's just completely brand new. But let's have a look at one of the pink ones then because this is definitely a Love Island. Again, this is from I Saw It First and this is actually in a size medium. Oh, and it, yeah, so I think the other one's definitely Love Island because it has exactly the same on it. Uh, the pair of sunglasses but it's just pink so I don't know why the other one doesn't have the Love Island label on it like this one does and I think this one's a slightly different shape so it's not as oversized as the other one it's not as long and the next item that I have is this one here and it is a t-shirt and this one looks 
like this. I have no idea what that says. If any of you guys know what that says, please leave me a comment down below. Next up, I have this here from Trendial. I think I'm saying that right. And I'm pretty sure this is an ASOS brand. I'm sure I've seen this brand on ASOS before. So hopefully we have some more ASOS goodies in here. That would be good. This is in a size UK 8. So that is my size. And this is like a linen dress, but I don't particularly like it. Okay, so this is a linen dress and it has the label still on it here. Um, even though it's a size eight, it's definitely like one of those oversized linen dresses. And I definitely, I just wouldn't wear this for myself. So hopefully one of my friends will like this one. Okay, next up, this is definitely not gonna be something that I like because it is so bright. As you can see, I just love black. That is like my favorite, black and brown. It looks like, to be honest, everything in here is brand new. I was wondering if it'd be returns, but so far it seems like it's brand new. So it makes me think that it's just overstock. So when a brand orders a certain amount of stock and they don't sell it all or something, then it ends up in these auction houses. I've never really figured out how things end up in these auction places. I really want to learn about that. Oh, this actually looks cute. Okay, so this is from the same brand, the Trend Trendial brand. And this is in size UK six, so might just about fit me. Actually, it's not as bad as I first thought. It's actually a really cute little dress. Or uh, is it a dress or is it like a play suit? No, it is a dress actually. Maybe it's nice. I quite like the cut of it. I like the back. It's got like a deep V on the back and then it has these cold shoulders. Maybe that's cute. I'm gonna put that in the keep pile and, and try it on because maybe I should wear a little bit of color. Don't know, feel like is really out there okay next up not sure what this one is but it definitely does not look like something that i would wear this actually looks like kids clothing or something very soft oh this is cute it's definitely not for me but it's cute look at this it's like a little kid's jacket a little boy's jacket or something and then it has these like horns on there is that some kind of cartoon character that i don't know about i don't have any children so i don't know what these are you know i don't know if it's a certain cartoon characters out at the moment but I will say this actually feels really nice it's a little zip up jacket and it is the most soft jacket like I would love it if I could have something like this in my size that is so soft okay next up oh this is like a bag within a box so I don't actually know what's in here but it's from Amazon fashion well, let's see if there's anything exciting in here okay Okay, it's not too offensive. It's just a plain sort of crew neck jumper from Amazon Fashion. Label looks a little bit different. It is Amazon, but I don't know if it's like some kind of special Amazon brand. It says Eco Vero on the back. So whether it's some kind of Eco Amazon brand, but yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, I need to speed up. We're gonna be here forever. Right, next up we have a top here from Creed 3. This is in size large, I'm guessing this is men's. Creed 3, I've not heard of that. Material feels nice. Again, absolutely brand new, long sleeved black top with the logo on the front here and the label is still attached. Then we have another one of those there. So I'll leave that one packaged. And then we have this, which is a another top, I think. Let's see, ooh, this feels good. Oh, this looks nice. So this is a, oh, I didn't see the back of it. <laughs> okay, I'm not really sure where this is from. Let's have a look. This is from the brand Dr. Denim. Is that a good brand? I'll definitely look into this one because it feels like quite a nice quality item, but it has a lot of stuff going on it. Look at this. I liked it at the front because it was plain. Then the back, it looks like this. And then it also has patterns down the sleeves, pink on that side and then blue on that side but I mean I do quite like it. Next we have another bag here uh, within the box which I don't know what it is but again from Amazon Fashion. Ooh a little bit of red. Actually this colour is pretty good. It's from the same Amazon brand again the eco-friendly brand that we saw earlier. Actually this is nice. This is a nice little top. I like this one. It's just a plain ribbed burgundy red top but I actually really like this colour. I feel like I would wear that and it's sort of, does it go over my hair? Maybe. Perfect. I'll definitely be keeping that one. Okay so far it's not that bad. Obviously we've got a lot of repetitive items like the Love Island t-shirts. 
are not ideal. Next up, this is quite a big item. It looks like some kind of ski jacket, but it looks like it's maybe kids again. This one is from Amazon Essentials and it is the Amazon Essentials Boys Water Resistant Snow Bib Blue Camo Extra Large. That's cool. That's definitely going to come in handy for someone. I have a couple of tops in here, I think, and these are size UK 12. So these might not fit. Is it a top? I think it is. Oh, they're shorts. Oh, they're nice. They're like high-waisted shorts. Oh, I should try those on. They don't they actually look like they might fit, but I think they're supposed to be quite stretchy and they're supposed to like suck you in or something. But they still have the label on them. And then we also have them in this olive green colour as well. We've got some more Love Island tops. Oh god, we've got more Love Island, Love Island, Love Island, Love Island, Love Island. <laughs> And two more Love Islands here. So I probably must have over 10 of the same Love Island top. Are they all in the same size? I don't know about the sizing, but yeah. Um, I feel like the charity shop's going to be filled with Love Island. Oh, okay. I think we have some sort of bikini here or something. Not sure about the colour. Um, oh, it's from the brand, the trendy old brand again. And this is in size UK 12. Oh, it's just some bottoms. Oh, <laughs> they're rather green, aren't they? Um, not for me, <laughs> but maybe someone will enjoy them. I'm just, I'm just not a colourful person, you know. This, this to me is like scary. The bright colour and the leopard print, my brain can't handle that. Another bikini top. Oh, this looks nice, even though it's bright colour. I like, I don't mind a bit of bright colour if it's plain and bright. Do you know what I mean? Um, this looks nice though. So this is again from the same brand, Trendial. Oh, and this is in a UK 8, so this is actually in my size. So I might try that. That's cute. Shame it's got no bottoms with it, but it is just this plain orange bikini top with these like plastic hoop detailing here. And then it is adjustable on the back as well, and then it has a little plastic clip there. Um, yeah, I quite like that. I'll, I'll definitely try it on. Maybe I could just wear it with some plain black bottoms that I've got, but I feel like this colour is okay, actually. Next, I have another Amazon bag here, which uh, is not open. Let's see. Again, it's from that same brand again, this, like, eco-friendly Amazon brand. And actually, I have to say, all the stuff that's been from this Amazon brand is really nice. Is this a pair of boxes? I'm not sure about these for me. Oh, they're nice. They feel good enough, size extra small, and they're brand new. Last thing in this box is another bikini top. Again, a little bit of a bright colour. I think it's from this Trendial brand again. I'm probably saying that completely wrong, and I'm just saying it the whole way through this video. Pretty sure it's trend Trendial? Am I saying that right? I don't know. This is in size UK 12, so this one won't fit me. It's actually, I don't mind this one furthest one to the other one um, but it's just a shame that it just there's no bottoms with it maybe we get some bottoms in here we'll have a look okay that's that box done let's move on to this box now this is the one that I noticed all of the orange jumpers in and I was just like whoa there's a lot of orange in there and orange is not a color that I would generally choose to wear especially this brightness of orange so this is an Amazon Essentials jumper. It does actually feel really, really soft. It's like that bouncy, soft cable knit jumper. So I like the feel of it. I just would never wear this because of the color. It's just so bright. Not for me, and I have quite a lot of these. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that it? I think that's it. So we've got nine of those jumpers and they're all in size XXL. Okay, next I have this and this is from Amazon and this actually looks really nice. It's a fleece, size medium. Oh, I like this. This is nice. It's just a plain navy blue fleece with a bit of black detailing on it and it feels really nice quality. I think this is men's, but I would still wear this. And actually it is in size medium, um, which is Ollie's size in men's. So I'll keep this anyway, because if I don't wear it, he probably will. So far, we're not really finding any high value items, are we? I mean, I feel like it's definitely still worth the 80 pounds I've spent on it, but 
we're not coming across any, you know, good branded, exciting items. Do you know what I mean? I hope you, hope you guys are still enjoying the video anyway. Right, next up I have a whole bunch of, of these like waffle dressing gowns. I won't bother opening these because it's just a, it's just a dressing gown, just a white plain waffle dressing gown. And it's from the brand called Iris and Lily, uh, but it is from Amazon. And these are all in size UK 10, which is a small. Um, and I have quite a few of these. So I've got one, two, three. Oh, this one's a bit open. Four, five. Six of them so far that's all I can see I feel like it is a bit disappointing we've had all these repeated items when I thought I was going to get like a hundred items in my head it was a hundred different things but you know we've got a lot of repeated items but it's still fun I just love these videos so much like just you just dig in and you just do not know what you're going to find okay oh this is not a fleece right we've got two items here which look like fleeces although they're quite thin so they're both in size small. I'll keep that one wrapped and we'll open up this one. Oh, it's a, um, like a gilet. I won't wear that. I don't think Ollie would. But it's nice, brand new, size small from Amazon Essentials. I think it's men's. Okay, what have we got here? This is a big chunky item. Again, from Amazon Essentials. This one is in size large. Oh, it feels really nice, but it's just, like, I'm, ne I'm not going to wear this, but it, feels amazing. I'm actually tempted to find this in a colour that I like on Amazon and buy it because it feels so nice. But yeah, I just wouldn't ever wear this colour. It's that lovely stretchy thick material. It has little pockets on the front. It's got cute buttons. Oh, what's this? This is definitely the colour that I would normally go for. Uh, UK 12 though. It's like a cute little one-sided like crop top, but it is definitely going to be too big for me. But that's nice. I like that. That would have looked nice with a pair of jeans. Uh, it's from the brand, the trendy old brand again, and yeah, size 12, so hopefully somebody that I know will like that one. Next, I think this is like a baby grow. Yeah, so this is a baby grow. What brand is this from? Oh, this is something different. So this is from the brand Petite Bateau. Not sure. Are we saying that totally wrong? I mean, I don't have a baby, and I don't know anyone that's... Do I know anyone's having a baby? I don't know if anyone's having one right now. Well, I don't even know what age this is. 18 months. Oh, right, so that could be someone who's already got a baby. I might keep that, you know, and keep that as, like, a present. So, you know, when somebody has a baby and you go to, like, a baby shower or something, I never know what to get people because I don't have children of my own. I don't, I'm not very kiddie orientated, so I'm not, like, the best at knowing what kids want and stuff. I feel like I could keep that. And then that would be a really nice gift to somebody. I'll have a look into the brand as well, because it might be worth a decent amount of money. It doesn't have the price on there. Uh, next, what is this? Ooh, this is from a different brand. So this brand is called Desires. I feel like I might have heard of that. The colour's quite cute, but oh, I just, I don't like the style of the top. I definitely wouldn't wear this. It's this sort of deep V-neck ribbed top. Oh, also it's in size large, so it wouldn't fit me. But it feels lovely and soft and it has these straps on it, they're kind of like split apart on the shoulder. So it's quite cute. From Trendial again and this is in the size UK 14. So again, I oh, look at this. It's like a full dress moment. But yeah, this one won't fit me unfortunately. It's quite nice though, I quite like the feel of it. It obviously does need an iron. It's a very thin, flowy, linen kind of textured dress with this little gap here um, and then has little short sleeves with stretchy sleeves here but yeah that's that's definitely not going to be for me oh god right okay next what is this so next up another one from the trendy all this is in size uk 14 i always find stuff like this really weird it's just so weird isn't it that one long sleeve and this one has no sleeve i just couldn't wear stuff like that it just that just doesn't feel right. I couldn't let one arm be cold and one arm be warm. Do you know what I mean? I'd have to be the same. I like even stuff. I just can't do one-sided things or it just, I don't know, it's just not for me. Ooh, a little bit of black lace here. This is size UK 12. Wow, what have we got here then? Peace. Why is there such a giant label on it? Look how big that label is. This is what the top looks like. It's actually really cute. It's got the silky bra bit and then it has like the lace detailing and then it has 
corset kind of detailing as well and it has a zip on the back someone will enjoy that okay another one here from trendyol which is size uk 14 oh this is nice oh it's a shame it's not my size i really like that so it's like a little cropped ribbed top i love it it's got long sleeves it's really soft and i like the sort of a little bit of detailing at the front there that is really really nice um but yeah unfortunately that one's not my size but i feel like one of my friends would actually love that uh <laughs> another item from trendyol and this is a shirt i think Ooh, definitely don't like the color of this one but we have a shirt here and this is in oh this is in uk8 this is actually my size but i just don't really like the color of it and I'll, i know i'll never wear this one but still, somebody might love that. Next up, we have this product here from Amazon Essentials, size extra large. And I think this is men's. I think it's a men's t-shirt. Oh, we've got two t-shirts in here. And they're just uh, sort of an Amazon basic cotton t-shirt here, but they're size extra large. So that won't be any good for Ollie. But if that was Ollie's size, he would actually wear that. It's exactly the sort of top that he normally wears, just a plain black sort of small V t-shirt. Someone will enjoy those. Okay, we've got a different brand here, the brand E Spirit, and we actually have the original price on here, which says it was originally 15 pounds, extra large, but slim fit. Quite nice, actually, I'd quite like that on a man. I love a light pink on a man. This is a different brand, I think. Alan Brown, anyone heard of Alan Brown? Oh, it's a set. Is it pajamas? Oh, that's quite nice. What size? XXL, go for new energy. And then it comes with these bottoms. So I do think it is a pajama set because these definitely look like pajama bottoms. Yeah, they definitely are. Look, they've got like a little tie on them as well. Uh, oh, this color looks nice. Caporal jeans, just like that. Size six. I don't know if that's age, I think that's age six. It's very tiny. I don't think that's size UK six. I think that's age six. Uh, we have got the original price on here, 39 euros. This one was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is for a, um, a child. But that's a really nice little hoodie. Ooh, is this going to be something that I might wear? Size UK 8. Looks like something that I might actually like for myself. Oh, this is cute. It's like a little crop bralette. Oh, it's got straps as well. That's nice. And then it has a zip on the back. Um, <laughs> guess what brand it's from? Yes, you were right. Trendial, if I'm saying that right. This is nice, I like the straps on it. I'll definitely wear this just with like a pair of jeans and heels or something. Okay, what's this one? I'm surprised that's a size eight though. I'm guessing it's supposed to have that kind of oversized look to it. It has these long sleeves. I do love the sleeve detail. It's kind of this like see-through look top. It's very autumnal. It's got like autumn leaves on it and stuff. I won't open this one because this is the same as those men's t-shirts I showed you earlier, the black ones, but this is in size small slim, which again, that won't fit Ollie, unfortunately. So definitely let somebody else have that one. What have we got here? UK 10. Oh, this could fit. Oh, I don't know if it will though. See, I can fit more of a 10 on the bottom half because my bottom half's bigger than my top half but my top half is quite small like my chest is very small so I do normally need to wear I normally wouldn't get away with a size 10 on the top half because I've just got nothing to fill out a top um so this one probably won't fit me but I really like it I'm gutted that won't fit me I actually love the style of this one. Oh, what's this pink top <laughs> I've got a sore throat now from Trendyol oh wow it's a bright pink top the front is plain a bit of artwork on the back there size extra small though so this would um fit me fine but i'm never gonna wear that so we'll let somebody else have that and it has a label on it brand new again it's really good how everything in this these boxes is absolutely brand new so we have another oh i keep this one for ollie this is another one of those crew neck tops again uh but this one's in size medium you get two in a pack they're white ollie will definitely wear these so he can have them once from the iris and lily brand brand again um these are in size large and i think this is like let's open it up and show you keep that one wrapped up oh it's actually a pajama set oh, i'm glad i opened it because i wouldn't have been able to i didn't know it was a pajama set oh that's actually really nice but it's a shame it's not my size 
um, but some really lovely checked pyjamas in this dusky pink colour. So we have the trousers here and then this is the top here. Oh, I love those. Oh, such a shame. Not for me. Okay, next up. Oh, I've got some repeats again here. Right, so I have three of these V-neck jumpers and they are all in size extra large. I won't bother opening them. I'm sure we can guess what they look like, but they're just like a V-neck thin jumper. Oh, I've got another pink top here from Trendyol, which is size UK 6. Oh, I shouldn't have opened that one. Same again. Ah, oh, is this a kid's one? Amazon Essentials, nine years old. Um, this thing is just a lovely, cute pyjama set. I can feel that there's a pair of trousers in here as well. Um, it's in size large, but it says on the label that's a UK nine years old. Right, this one doesn't come in packaging, but it still has the label. And what size is this one? UK 10. It's a nice little ribbed high neck jumper. We've got another e-spirit top here. Um, and this one's slim fit again. And this is in exactly the same size as the other one. Oh, we've got more of these. Okay, so we have more of those pyjama looking things from the Alan Brown brand. So I won't bother opening these up. That size medium. Well, he doesn't really wear pyjamas, so he won't want that. I'm not sure what size that one is. We've got another one here, which is size extra large. Okay, next, what is this? Ugh, that's disgusting. It's got something on it. That's weird, because that was sealed. I just undid the bag and that was completely sealed. But it actually has mud or something on it. It's actually making me feel sick. It might not be mud. Where are they from? I don't want to look inside them. I don't think I can do it, guys. I don't think I can do it because they smell. That's so weird. They were wrapped. They were fully wrapped. Like they were new items and folded like they were new. Disgusting. Disgusting! Oh, we have another top from the Creed brand here, Creed Los Angeles. And this one is in size medium, grey cable knit jumper here from Amazon Essentials in a size medium but i don't think ollie would wear that one actually it's like the never-ending box this is like narnia in a box so this is a men's full zip cotton sweater in navy and it's in size small this looks nice actually let's show you it feels really nice just a sort of plain zip up top and it just has a label on it there another kind of burgundy looking top it's got no logo on it so i'm not sure where it's from Okay, a bit like the other one, but it's just got a half zip on it. Oh, wow, this is bright. What's that, a tea cosy? Tuck Tuck Jersey Tricot Miss Flower Sweater. <laughs> oh, it's kind of cute, actually. Look at that. It's like a little knitted sweater for kids. Oh, here we go, the brand. So the brand is called Tuck Tuck. Definitely not heard of that one. Um, it's five years old. Oh, I wonder if my niece would like that one. I feel like it might be a bit small for her, though. I'll keep hold of it though just in case because she is five so that she might quite like that. Okay what's this? Feels like work clothes. So these are from the brand Wonder Wink. Oh size extra small. Shade wine. But they're like kind of workout trousers but they're really really long. Never going to fit me. Oh are these maternity? Is that maternity? I feel like that is maternity there is it? I don't know. It doesn't say. Wonder Wink scrubs. I thought they looked a bit hospitally. Yeah, I feel like these are for the hospital. It's got pockets on the side as well. I like the colour of those. Right, next up, what's this? 
Oh, definitely using my voice now. It's like the longest video ever. Oh, we've got another one of these little crops. Is that going to be my size? No, it's a 12 again. That's a shame. I really, really like this top, but we have had two of them now. Some more Amazon basics, and this is uh, the same as the other one, size medium round neck t shirt. So I'll keep those for Ollie. I haven't heard of this brand before. It's a different brand here. So this is another kind of half zip jumpery pullover sort of top. Another little top here. Size UK 10. Ooh. Look. Oh, it's got a bit of detailing on it. Oh no, I don't like the feel of this. Oh, it feels horrible. No, I don't like this one. Long sleeve. It's got like ruched detailing there, but it has that really... I don't even know how to describe this material. It just... I do not like that material feel at all. We're getting there guys. Oh this is nice but it's not my size. So this is a size medium, a nice kind of cropped rib top, long sleeve. Really really like that one. Um, again, um, you know where. And yeah, size medium, size large. Oh these are nice. Not my size though. That's a shame, I love these. So like ribbed, very stretchy, slightly cropped top but then you also have this bit of ruched detailing at the front here where you can tie it up, you know, to give it a little bit more of a look. But that's really nice, but yeah, size large, that's not going to fit me, unfortunately. But there's a brown one in here, and then there's also a black one. Next up, what have we got here? UK 14, again, it's not going to fit me, but it's really nice. It's a little button-up crop rib top. Okay, we've got a pair of jeans here. Where are they from? <laughs> you guessed it! <laughs> Same again, but these are, are UK 29. Is that gonna, that's waste, isn't it? But they're actually really nice. I love the color of them. Another one of those pajama sets from Alan Brown. Good old Alan Brown. Oh, what's this? So we know, this looks like a pair of joggers. Ooh, velvet joggers. Love myself a bit of velvet, but these are navy blue, not what I would choose. I think these will fit me though. Oh, I definitely keep these. These would be nice just for wearing around at home. Lovely. And they're from this brand here, which I can't really pronounce that, but that is the brand name. And yeah, they actually feel really nice and they have pockets as well. So I'm really happy with them. And they are straight leg, which I love for my lounge trousers. I quite like um, a straight leg or a wide leg trouser. We're nearly there, guys. We've got three things left. We have this, which is a bulky item. This is like a pair of waterproof trousers. I love the colour of these and they feel really nice, but they're definitely not my size. They are a size EU32. Oh, that was that it's men's. I feel like Ollie's a 32. They're actually really cool trousers. I might get Ollie to try them on. They're they're sort of thick waterproof trousers, but with this lovely fleece lining on them. They feel nice quality. Oh, we've got a bikini bottom or top I can't remember if this matches anything else we've looked at I don't think it does is it oh it's another pair of bottoms in the UK six so these definitely will not fit me these will be way too small for me on the bottom half I mean they're cute bright green they've got a bit of detailing here I think this must tie around you or something and then last but not least we have another pair of jeans here uh, in the shade washed chocolate oh waist 25 leg length 30 would I be able to squeeze into a 25 waist? Oh, they're really cool. They're like really high waisted. I actually love these, but they're like wide leg. The rise on them is called sky high. I love that, like really high waisted. Look, it goes all the way up to there. And the leg length does actually fit. Should I just put these on now quick? I'll just put them over my leggings, see what they look like. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to get these over my bum. Which would be such a shame because I actually really like these. <gasps> oh my god. No. No. I've got no chance. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh. oh. What a shame. I thought my final one would be like really good. Like a really good find. Oh well, these will make someone happy. Someone very skinny, very happy. <laughs> right, that was the last item. So the pile of stuff that I'm keeping is about that big. So there's probably, I feel like I've got maybe 10 items and most of that's for Ollie or for my niece. I feel like for me, there's about three 
things that I'm actually going to keep from here for myself. So I have to say that's probably a bit of a fail, to be fair, considering I thought that I was going to find a lot of stuff in here that I would like. <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> I've probably got about 90, 80 or 90 items here that are going to make a lot of people happy, I'm sure. So that's a good thing. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching the video anyway. If you would like to see more of these, then please leave me a comment down below. I do absolutely love doing these. And sometimes on the auction, you can actually see what's there as well. Like I just wanted to buy these because they were mystery. I didn't know what was in them because I do find that really exciting. But you can at auction buy stuff so you can see exactly what it is as well. So obviously that's a little bit more of a safe option. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.